Hey guys, my name is Alexis and if you didn't know, I'm a college student at Virginia Tech. So I'm going to be telling you six resolutions from a college student standpoint. So I hope you enjoy. Number one, I want to develop better study habits because I've been slacking these past three years of trying to get a study routine in place. This is my way to develop a better study habit this semester. I put all my stuff in notes and tests and upcoming readings and when should I study because it keeps me so organized. I'm hoping I'll keep up this habit. So number two is to begin a consistent workout plan because when I came back from winter break, I was just like, Bleh. I'll go work out, I'll go do this. And it's been two weeks and I haven't gone to the gym. So I definitely want to start that up again because I, I always go, but it's, it's coming out from winter break or any break that you feel like, and do I need to, should I? So if I can't go to the gym all the time, then I'll try to, you know, not take the bus and walk instead, or I can even work out at my apartment. So that's my second New Year's resolution. And someone asks, where's the bathroom, Alexis? I'm gonna be like, oh, it's um over there. <sighs> Number three is get more sleep or sleep earlier so I can wake up earlier and start my day. Um, because, yeah, I've already started in the habit of going to bed at like two or three and that's not good. I definitely want to get more sleep in because these past two weeks I've already been going to sleep at two or three and waking up at, you know, eight. So I'm only getting five hours of sleep and I want to get more hours of sleep because when I come home from a long day I just pass out and I don't do my homework so I had to wake up early and it's the, the cycle starts over again and it's not good for me, it's not mentally, it's not good for me physically. I always complain about not having enough sleep but I go to bed at 2 or 3 in the morning and I'm like that's why I'm, I'm dumb. So a way to combat this would be to not go on Netflix or go on like movie streaming websites and watch movies or binge watch shows. I definitely want to keep my priorities intact and you know get my sleep and then if I have extra time then I can watch this show or get more sleep then I can wake up early and watch a show. Hmm. Hmm. It all depends. New Year's resolution number five. Five golden rings. This is uh, saving money. We gon' we gon' save that money. Mm. 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 So this is one that I definitely want to work on, and I failed today because I went out and went out with my friend, and we got food downtown. I had so much food, and I don't know why I did that. Like, I'm actually just, I don't know why I did that. I guess it's good to splurge from time to time, but my problem is that I just do it in the spur of the moment. I'm like, I want food, I'm gonna go downtown. And I end up reg regretting it. And I'm like, why did, why did you do that? You just wasted 20 bucks that could go towards your gas money or could go towards buying something you actually want, like new shoes that you've been saving up for or a new camera, you know? And this is something I need to work on personally and you probably, if you're watching this, you probably are like, hmm, yeah, I need to save that money. Hey, we gonna save that money. I like spending money, but I also am very cheap. It's weird. I have that like balance. I'm like $12 for a ticket, <laughs> pass. But if it's like $12 for food, Okay, <laughs> so it, it varies for me. I think it's important to try to keep a balance between your social and lifestyle purchases. Just because, you know, you're getting close to the real world and you need to start saving up money because mom and dad won't pay for your property tax 
in a couple of years or they won't pay for certain bills. Like a lot of people are dependent on their parents, myself included, and I need to have that realization that I need to start pulling my weight, start saving up money because once I get into the real world, I'm expected to pay for all the stuff. This has become serious. So I need to be smarter about um, what I spend my money on in the future. And if you relate to this, then I recommend, you know, start saving your money and, and think about if you actually need to do certain things or activities in the long run, I think it could be better. And lastly, number six. So this one is um, a very important one, I think. And this one is shatter mental roadblocks. I know we perceive things and we get scared of, you know, when obstacles arise, but I think it's important to, you know, step out of your comfort zone and try something new. And this is something that I really wanna do because lately I've been in my head all the time and just staying at home and not wanting to go out and not wanting to you know, live my last year as a senior and I just get in my head all the time and I and I think about it and I'm like, do I really wanna, you know, do this? Because, I mean, I'm having fun by myself, but I do wanna, you know, have that social interaction with other people. I'm just creating excuses of why I don't wanna go out when friends ask me to come out with them. And I'm like, oh, um, it's too cold, which it is sometimes. Or I'm like, oh, it's too late, I need to do my homework, which I have to do sometimes too. Or I'm like, oh, uh, I just read this, which I didn't because I read it like an hour ago when you sent it. And I do wanna surround myself with my friends because they make me happy. And I really wanna just start off this year with positivity and you know, sharing good times and good memories with my friends. I don't want to make excuses anymore about why I don't want to do certain things or activities or, or like clubs that used to make me happy. It's just I found this new state of mind that I didn't like the environment I was around and I just want to surround myself with positivity when I graduate. So that is number six. <laughs> So thank you for watching. This is the official YouTube page of Her Campus at Virginia Tech. And if you wanna learn more about it, look at the description below. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be nice. Um, I'll also link down below the article which this video was inspired from and all of our social media pages which you can follow. So thank you again for watching. Lux is out.